will come back in tech learning and sorry so much because currently i'm busy in uh, lots of project and also i need to give exam you know my board exam so that's why <clears throat> so here is the, a tutorial video that i recently created this uh, project okay and this is kind of like a cyberpunk style okay it's a kind of like neon i need to work more at here so basically i'm going to now create the attacking system so just suppose that if you want to create uh the attacking system okay with the magic spell half okay the first thing uh let's go uh the inside of this bp which i'm um, currently working like this one so i'm like just give it change so i can basically easily navigate that okay so instead of that i already use my uh, touch system or es mobile touch tl plugin i'm using that plugin at here you find that in epic marketplaces okay now what i'm going to do is we need to create or basically i'm not we need to uh, i want something like creating some attack vfx so okay there's some base uh, weapon uh, issue so okay let me just remove that okay now it should be work oh again what is the issue okay it should be now work okay so at here what i basically need is with the some button or some button press i can attack some okay and okay so for do that what i'm going to do first i need to check my hand or which animation i'm going to use okay uh, because switch pack i'm using there's a lot of animation available so i loop this is the beam okay if i want to uh, you know throw beam so this will be work uh this is the orb for holding this is just kind of like magic spell this is also great this is now currently working and this is kind of like uh the attacking like left hand only okay so now uh the thing is i'm going i don't need the loop one i need something with start okay so like the beam start is to only one time okay for get my paid course you can visit my udemy account there's a lots of tutorial available also if you want to play my game you can check that on steam app store and google play store also we have now the discord channel so you can join there and do lots of fun and it is more also for get more information for our about video you can check our website also you can get my paid asset and plugins in epic marketplaces link in the description link below and let's see which one we can use as a this is quite an upgrade or we can use this one kind of like magic spell dragon ball z type effect and the R will be get first and once then then it can be throw okay so we search let's use the orb animation so o r b this is the basically the orb start or end and orb loop okay this will be kind of like from the end so now what i'm going to do is for do that we need a custom event so let's use custom event that tag and at here with my mesh arm i'm going to set play animation uh play animation and then we'll be use a delay node so uh, at the animation i'm going to set that start one so the orb 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 the start is if you check the orb start in basically 30 sec uh 1.1 seconds okay so if i go to complete complete is 1.49 seconds so let's use that because i want it perfect so 1.49 seconds and after then <clears throat> it will be start playing the loop of the orb okay the orb loop 
it will be set at the loop so we can hold how much time we want and then we'll be search to create one more that attack over so at here what will we do it will be basically uh use this end one and delay node so we can basically get the timeline that once it's throwing okay so as you can see on the 0 0.35 seconds it's basically uh throwing so 0 0.35 seconds so on the 0 0.35 seconds later it should be spawn or whatever we want to do so i'm going to spawn a projectile and it will be basically spawn uh, a projectile for me so i'm going to now create a blueprint class so let me create here that b and now let me change the color so i can easily track that so instead of that i'm going to create a actor called bullet bp and instead of that bullet bp i'm going to use a vfx so i'm going to use the ms mag dialyze this fx magra fx so blast heat heat frame frame our controller we can use this one okay uh you can check also like which one you need to use like this is attack and this one this this only kind of like one time attack so we can use it on a hit okay a single frame so kind of like where the fire is done we can use that and this what i guess looking okay and then we need a projectile movement system so i'm going to add the projectile movement and i'm going to use that at the at the 8000 uh parameter and the value is zero zero so now i can use that and we can write a code also that projectile movement uh as stop stop oh sorry event this is a guys event i guess event or stop this should be called event component immediately add projectile movement stop okay so whenever it will be stop and it will be destroy actor or himself okay so for stop or do the whatever we want so we'll be need a collision so a super collision and then i'm going to increase this to like this and set it to block to overlap compile save and now it will also do a print string for us because it's done okay for now and then we'll go at here then we'll be add our bullet bp now we need an arrow from where we want to spawn so i'm going to split that now we want a location that at the which location we want to basically give the attack so i'm going to first set the orb or end so also i'm going to playing stop and let's get the position that is this one on 2.1 uh, 2 so what at here happen i'm going to spawn whatever it is from here so from my camera i'm going to add a arrow and the arrow should be stay at here okay and then it should be attack so arrow then get war transform then we'll be split that and set it to the location and rotation now compile and save so now uh also i need to add one more code at here on that the custom event to there's a begin play code available at here so i can simply connect at here show mouse cursor disable compile save so now i'm able to control this stuff so let me use that left mouse uh left mouse event so whenever i pressed the left mouse it should be enable the attack and 
whenever I release that so it should be disable the attack over so yep so that is basically the mechanism it should be work also so okay by default it's getting a glitch so let me disable the left mouse and let's use that H E port okay or let me search F key that whenever I press F it should be attack release okay so as you can see it's done now if I throw and there should be it will be should be do this so even I guess I can enable that there's a no issue because okay as you can see I'm holding and now when I'm basically I release my F so there's a basically the stuff will be gone like this so now I need one more stuff once it's basically looping it should be there's a something on my hand okay there should be something on my hand so I'm going to use the arrow let me try to add this one how it will be look I'm just checking mm, yep it will be look great so also I'm going to do here on the activity there's a should be auto activity will be disable that so it will be only enable when we were basically doing the looping stuff so at here will be said that uh, AC active and set toggle active and at here will be set it to new active and then at the loop end it should be basically disable that uh, trail so now if i click on play and f okay it's looping so we have now the our projectile magical spell and now if i throw that and it will be basically go like this so that's basically stuff so yeah as you can see it's looking great and for counting that is uh, you know this destroying that or not so to okay it's not destroying that so i need to check that uh, why this stuff is not working but it should be work so event component hint event hit allegiance let me try it should be work too and also if you check there's some delay happen on the looping stuff so what i'm going to do i'm going to use a sequence node at here that it should can do this work but uh on this animation whenever it's starting like this so th at that time my basically it's stuff like that and on 0 0.51 seconds my that projectile should be enabled so 5.1 seconds the loop should be the, my vfx should be start working so if i press f as you can see i have right now that and release okay so like this and as you can see there's a something uh, it should be more close on my hand so i need to do this and then it should be work okay so what i'm going to do is uh the first on my camera uh i'm making it some more there's a no issue with my camera i'm going to just increase my hand some more like this and then i have something right now like this so i have like this and then i can throw that okay so yeah it's uh, it's looking good so we can go with this like that but there's some issues as you can see it's only come on our face too but then we can release that it will be go attack also we need to do one more thing uh, how our hand looking we need to give that attack okay as you can see it's a look going on up because we set up our projectile that's why uh, because with our arm 
our camera so i'm going to set it to end let's make it something like down yep it's now working so perfect wherever you are doing it's uh, basically on our middle of the hand and then it will be basically go yeah that's great and then we need to check if it's destroying that stuff or not as you can see it's not it's still not destroying uh, i guess we need to do some work with the collisions let's give block all dynamic let's see it should be destroy that stuff uh okay i'll be check that later what's by why it's not destroying okay so there's no issue but the system is working oh we need to set it to collide i guess that is the issue maybe the three bullet bp okay there's an issue i will check but that is the basically the mechanism or stuff so i hope uh you understand that i need to do so thank you so much for watching guys see you in next tutorial video for get my paid course you can visit my udemy account there's lots of tutorial available also if you want to play my game you can check that on steam app store and google play store also we have now the discord channel so you can join there and do lots of fun and it is more also for get more information for our about video you can check our website also you can get my paid asset and plugins in epic marketplaces link in the description link below